Assessment. This is probably the area that trainees have the most questions about. For a new trainee, it can be a pretty confusing topic with many different types of assessment, a lot of which may be new for you, especially if you haven't had an electronic or e-portfolio before. We hope this series of videos and documents help address many of your questions. Assessment and training is a pretty complicated area and is designed to both look at where you, as a trainee, are at, but is also designed as a tool to help both guide your learning and to give you opportunities to discuss with and learn from senior colleagues. This series of videos on assessment is designed to both explain the details of each assessment type and then to give you an overview of how the different assessments fit together. At the end of every year of training, trainees have an ARCP or Annual Review of Competence Progression, which you need to pass. The requirements for passing this are defined in what is known as the ARCP Decision Aid. This is created nationally by the Joint Royal Colleges of Physicians Training Board, or JRCPTB, and can be downloaded from their website, www.jrcptb.org.uk. This outlines the minimum requirements for successfully passing the ARCP, and isn't something that either you, your supervisors or training programme directors have any leeway with. If you take away one thing from your induction, it should be knowledge of the decision aid. If you have questions regarding your assessment, it probably answers it. So print it out, stick it on the wall, cover it in highlighter, set it as your computer background and tape it to your breakfast cereal box. The ARCP looks at many different types of assessment, including your e-portfolio, your curriculum, educational supervision reports, multi-source feedback, multi-consultant reports, mini clinical examination, case-based discussion, direct observation of procedural skills, acute care assessment tools, MRCP examinations and more. Look at the further videos and supplementary text for information about these individual types of assessment.